Hey guys, it's Shelly. It's me again. So I'm gonna go ahead and milk anyway. So I thought I would kind of demonstrate what I do. Now they kind of pick yeah, baby, their own order. And Gracie goes first. comes over here and waits. And then I made this. So this is their head gate. I don't know if you can see it, but this is their head gate. And I took a belt. It's like a 1970s, you know, slip knot belt. Nothing big and fancy. I had scrap lumber, so that's why I used it and made a head gate. Um, this is an old dining table that I found at um, a secondhand shop, a thrift shop, whatever you want to call it. And are you done? And I just made that. I give them little bits of the yummies as we go. And Unfortunately, I forgot to fill the bucket. So, give me Lola. Her name is Lola. She was a show good. I know. I I know. I will give you yes, yes. Hang on. You are such a good girl. Aw. It's yummies, huh? Um goats and I don't know if this is true with all goats but it is true with these goats they are curious about everything they want to know what you got and if there's food involved then they're in it now what I have is an automatic milker ta-da I know, I've seen reviews and people are like, oh my gosh, it's so loud, it's confusing, na 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 na. Everything is labeled tube one, tube two, tube three, tube four, tube five. You put them in the holes. If that's too hard for you, go home and take a nap and get yourself a little snackety snack. Because this ain't for you. Ugh. But, I have... My automatic goat milker here and I plug in tube one I don't know if you can see this oh you can't see it well let me show you I'll do better I promise plug in tube one to the hole tube two and to the hole put it down for easy access and I keep my stuff in a little bucket right next to me. I have a pail of warm soapy water. There we go. And then I have a basket of hand rugs for them. And you'll probably see my back a lot and I'll try to stay out of the way, but I have to do my business too, people. So, are you so good, girl? Hi. Hi. I know. Oh. Look at him, a cookie. All right. There we go. Warm, silky water. Come here, Miss Thing. Come here. I'm going to try to sit shortly so you can see. Wash. Oh. And then two. Two squirts. It clears out the teats. I I don't know if you can hear that. But that's all it is. You slip it over one and the other. 
and I give them a little jiggle to make for sure their teeth is in there. Hang on, baby. And then it sucks. And then kind of give them a little bit of a bounce. Make sure my girls are occupied. And we have milk coming out. Girl, I know, Lola, it's not your turn, but you're cute enough, you need a cookie. Yeah. So, I don't know if you can see this. So, they're just there. You give her a couple little bumps every once in a while. Like that. Yes, ma'am, huh? Yes. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna angle this camera down just a little bit more, I think. Hopefully I won't like spill the whole thing. So, this is my little, <laughs> this is Lola. Yeah, so here's my basket. Can you see it? Where's my basket? That's it. That's what I have my stuff in. Um, I got my basket from a yard sale or something. Here's one, one of those things that Ryan is like, why are you buying that crap? I'm like, I'll use it someday. But anyway, what are you doing? Bump, bump, bump. Get on some bumps. She just wants more food. You can have it. You've been a really good girl. I know. Come back here. Come back here. There you go. And you massage a little bit. You know, I don't want to be inappropriate or anything. But girls like a gentle touch. Firm, but gentle. And they will continue to melt. Bump, bump. It doesn't have to be very hard. You just want to make for sure that all the milk is done running out. Do you want a cookie? I know a cookie monster. She's done. Shut off the machine. Thank you. I just flick it off with my thumbs like that and pull. It'll break the section so it doesn't hurt them at all. Obviously, you can tell. Then you want to take your bucket. This is Tride's, <laughs> Tride, Clyde's Milky Treat bucket. Oh, I know. And I'm probably giving them like a quarter of a cup at a time. Probably too much, but then I give a couple of squeezes to clear out what's left. You always want to make sure you clear out so their milk production heats up. cold rag and I wipe them down. A lot of people use sprays and teat dip and all that. It's really not that necessary and I just wipe them, make sure their udders are clean, no dry spots, no cracking, whatever. And then I use either bag bomb if they have a little bit of a sore spot petroleum jelly or coconut oil. I love coconut oil. I use it on like everything. So she doesn't have any spots or anything that raise alarm and my coconut oil is hard as like a rock right now. So I'm going to use the petroleum jelly for time's sake and then I'm just going to rub it all over 
just like a little tiny bit, just rubbing it all over. This is where I usually squirt milk in my face because I'm classy like that. But it gives you a chance to check out their udder. You're all dead, baby. Thanks, mama. Thank you, I know. Um, all done. Now see if she'll do it. Okay. All done. are soft and clean and the thing oh, yes I know it's right here is this is this what is this what needs to go in there yeah okay yes I do talk to my my uh, goats like this yeah you I'm not doing anything special for you I talk like a baby and I sing stupid songs her name was Lola, Lola Palana. Yeah, here she'll go. Not anymore, you're a dairy goat. Yeah, you're a dairy goat. Right? Uh, oh, yes, okay. So, another rug, warm, soapy water. I kind of forgot what I was talking about earlier, but you know, you get it. Come here, baby. Ugh. Thank you. Get nice and clean. You wanna make sure those teats are clear for, so yeah, yeah. In case there's any dirt, bacteria, whatever. Come here. Oh, sorry. Did I scare you? I went the wrong way, huh? I went underneath her tail and it startled her. Oh, here you are. Gracie comes back. She might have to potty. She'll go potty and come back and then she gets locked up because she knows if she's locked up, she'll get a cookie. Because if she's not locked up, she will come and try to hog in. Yeah. I know. Uh, she got a cookie. I get it. I get it. And I startled you. Ready? Okay. Yes, ma'am. See if I grab her from the top, she doesn't like jump or anything. She has super tiny teeth. Super tiny. If you're a man with big hands, this one ain't for you. Nice and clear. Yeah, I know. And somebody can fight me if they say I give my my goats too many cookies. and doesn't have yummies in front of her. She did like that. I can agree. Come here, baby. Switch over. Nice, gentle massaging. Keeping that mouth going. Bump, bump, bump. And a bump, bump, bump. You slipped on your own accord. That was funny. Not really super funny. But I know. You, you gotta eat your kibble too. Yeah. So, 
just letting that go. I have a little brush here, and I'll brush them, and talk to them, sing to them, do stupid things. Yeah, I mean like, it's not, not, it's not all that, you just want a cookie, fool. You gotta eat the good stuff, and then you can have a cookie. Her mouth is slowing down. Bump, bump, bump. And the bump, bump, bump. Massage, 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 massage. And I'm just like rubbing them. Just rubbing them. Nothing hard. We don't need to hurt them. I mean, they're doing us a favor, right? That's, if they're doing me a favor, why would I try to be mean to them and scare them off or be, like, bring in that ugly vibe? You don't need that. You don't. If you're calm and kind, your animal's calm and kind. You know? <laughs> it's a good word, huh? My scoop is little, um, yeah, it's a little scoop, so it's about literally what I'm giving her is like a quarter cup at a time because my girls wouldn't even be on the table before. They would kick and buck around like crazy. All right, Mama, I think that's it. want to hurt them and then you want to do a clearing she'll probably jump around she usually does yep see so. got milk yeah like that huh right the other side of the rug is cold now so it kind of seals Closes up, closes up the teeth. When I got her, she did have some sores on her, on her um, udder. So I will be putting bag bomb on her. Um, they're all healed up, but I still just put it on at night, especially and just make sure it's rubbed into the sore slots. And that's it. That's all. That's all, huh? Are you all done? And make sure you close your lids. Oh, for crying out loud. You have to close lids on stuff. This is what, this is what I'm giving them. I'm not gonna try to plug any place, but That's their crack cookies. My friend Shannon, Ohana Acres, <laughs> again, she told me about it. So, and then they are good little treats for them. And what? They're, they're delicious, huh? They're delicious. You had your cookie. Yes, all done. All done. Thank you. Thank you. That was nice of you. I know, I closed it. Dad gum it. There you go. There you go. And then, good job. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. That's the towel. You don't want the towel. We already discussed this before. That's it. That's it. Dad would not be happy if you ate my ring. No. No. I'd be digging through your boots. Yeah. And you're a good girl too. Right? 
All right, you're all done. Woo! Let me have gas. No. Woo! All right, I gotta clean off the table. All done. All done. Take the rag and I dunk it in my water and I wipe off the table. I know this table is gonna be pooped on by the morning. I know it, I'm not even. So I just kind of clean it up. And that's that. Unhook your tubes. Oh. Unhook tube one, tube two. And that's that. I have an automatic milker and I'm not trying to cheat or whatever. My hands, I do a lot with my hands. My hands get sore. I'm an older woman. It happens. So I have an automatic milker. I have had people say, oh, well then you're really not milking. You're letting a machine do it. Yes, I'm letting a machine do it. You bet, you bet. You want to argue with me? Come on over and milk him. My man, people, he's got giant hands. Like he's he's got he's got fighter mitts. Like there there are some big old gorilla hands. He can't get a hold of them without hurting them. Thank you. Come again. So it helps him. Yes, he helps me every once in a while. He gets kind of a kick out of it. He'll come up here and he'll pet them and love on them. Yes, and if you know him, he's not like the lovey squeeze. Oh, no, him with the goats. He puts cookies in his mouth and they like. Yeah. Makes my heart happy. But anyway, so he can use the automatic milker if I'm gone or or if I'm sick or whatever. Um, teach my friends, my neighbors, all how to milk the way I do it. And it helps them, it helps me. Um, when I have somebody come and take care of my chickens or come milk the goats or whatever, whatever they produce, they get to keep. And it's pretty awesome because then they're like, Oh my goodness, that was so much fun. And look what I got. I milked a goat. It's so delicious and it's mine. I did it. Yes. yes. You did it. That's awesome. That's something to put in your wheelhouse. Something that you now know. You have learned it. And it's great. Now, I'm gonna hurry up, and get out of here. Um, Nigerian goat milk is really best if you get it in the refrigerator within, I think they said no later than 45 minutes. Well, as you can see with me fiddle farting with this camera, I was pretty much done at 20 minutes. And now I'm just sitting here talking to a camera, talking to you, because, well, I'm trying to help pretty much. So automatic goat milker for me is a win. Um, other comments and, you know, downgrades of it, then you can, you're welcome to milk by hand. Hallelujah. Pass the butter. Go ahead. You got it. And I'm so proud of you for doing it. My hands are old and they hurt and the cramping and I'm no, and we are wanting more. So this was a huge win for us, huge. Um, you can find it online. Um, I can try to find the link and do the dropity, hoobity, whatever. Um, but I found it one place for one price and another place for another price. There are people that want to get on there and just complain and gripe about it. Um, it's too loud, it's too this, it's, you know, it's got too many cords, stop stop just freaking stop it has been a godsend for us um i absolutely love it and i have even thought about buying two or three others 
so I could have them on hand in case something goes wonky and one breaks or whatever. Um, but that's, that's it. I dump my water to the earth. One pump of dish, 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 dish soap. Dish, no, shit. Ooh. Dish soap to like a seven liter, five liter bucket. One, one little, not a lot, just a little bit. Not, not, not too much because then it will crack and dry their hands. Women, if you've ever nursed, you're going to know what I'm talking about. No, not too much drying. You don't need that much soap. So that's it. Yeah. This, I will show you, is a tree house. And we have made it uh, into our milking station. Uh, before winter, I'm going to have drop downs right here um, across the front. Now I don't know that you can see this, but this is all chicken wired. Every open spot in here has chicken wire over it for safety reasons. And you know, we want to have kids. I, <laughs> hello. I know I was supposed to leave. I know. So Clyde's waiting patiently for his milky treat. Do you, can you see him? He knows he's going to, I don't know if you can see him, but he's out there waiting for his milky treat. So I digress. Squirrel. Um, we converted this old tree house into the milking station. And down below we are enclosing it with all the milled wood that we did and making their cozy little home. And I did a DIY out of um, uh, pallets for their feeder. Yeah, so all in all, milled wood, the screws and everything cost money. So yeah, and we use good screws and all that. Um, but really, that's pretty much it. Um, I did make hobbles for this. When I first got them, they were crazy, crazy little lunatics. And they were jumping and bucking, and they were not used to human touch. And so we had to hobble them. Didn't hurt them, didn't cause any problems, but... And now they're just golden pony boy. Huh? Oh. Hey, don't go to sleep there. All right, y'all. <laughs> it's just a blessing. I don't care what you say. I really don't care what you say. This is great. I will have one liter of milk, or excuse me, one quart of milk in my bucket. It's a seven liter bucket. So maybe eventually I have more. Huh. That's it. It is a blessing. Giving the glory to God. He's good every single day. Every single day. Even in the storms, he's good. He knows what he's doing. So, all right. May love, peace, and blessings fill your heart. And share that love with everybody else. Share your knowledge. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Boom! <laughs> I got it all. May love, peace, and blessings fill you.